Hey what's going on guys, TurtyWerty here and welcome back to another Minecraft modding tutorial for version 1.16. In this tutorial I'm going to be covering recipes. So I will be doing crafting recipes, smelting recipes, blast furnace recipes, campfire recipes, uh, smoker recipes, grindstone recipes and smithing table recipes. I will be covering things like uh, brewing stand recipes in a future video since that is slightly more complicated it's not quite as simple as these so in our organization video we already created the data.tutorial where we then created a recipes package so it's pretty simple all our recipes will just go in here now you can just create a new file in here and this file will need to be the name of your recipe so this must be lowercase it cannot have spaces and it cannot have any special symbols so you can name this whatever you like but normally we put a name that makes sense obviously uh, so the recipe I'm going to be making is I want to be able to craft my example item to my example block and the way I'm going to do that is, well, I'm going to call it um, example underscore item underscore two underscore block dot JSON. And that will be what I call it. So there is a really handy website for this, and that is this website here, crafting dot got blah blah. blah crafting dot the destruction I presume that's meant to be uh, dot CA it will be linked in the description and this is really useful so you can just go ahead and uh, drag the items in now you will notice that these are only vanilla items in here um, and this is 1.16 obviously if you were using a different version you can switch it here but it only has a select set so 1.16 is what I'm using and if I just press this add item button we can set the name of the item so I'm going to add my example item and then we need the namespace item so that will just be our mod ID which I believe we put as tutorial and then it is example underscore item and if you want you can just go ahead and select the texture for this as well um, which just for the sake of this one I will do just to show you um, how that works and what it will look like but you don't need to add a texture that's just for your um, it's your own choice so you can just get add and if you see there our example item has been added and I can just say um, example item example item and just drag them in like this now I'm actually going to make it 4 by 4 so um, it will fit anywhere um, yeah that's pretty much it um, you do need to drag in the output of course so I'm going to add a, blo a block here so I'll call this example block and this will be tutorial example underscore block and you can select the texture if you want of course but if you don't it just comes up as a missing texture and just put that in the output now obviously you can change the count I think you yeah you do that by right clicking it and you can say set count so say I wanted it to be um, a count of four you can it will change to a count of four um, and you can also edit the data of it so um, I believe this is only for bedrock edition let's see yeah it's probably only for bedrock edition but I'm not sure um, and you can also right click these so say I right click that and I say um, create tag and that's how we can use tags for this so um, let's just add that back 
This recipe doesn't really make any sense, but we're not going to worry about that too much. Um, and then you can just copy this and paste it into here. And that's it. That is your recipe. Now, let's say I want a, uh, a smelting recipe. So I'm going to create a new, um, a new file. And I'm going to call this example underscore or um, to underscore um, item or no I'm, I'm going to use a vanilla recipe for this uh, or, or vanilla items so I'm going to say um, that if we smelt um, planks we get um, cherries okay Thanks to cherry.json and just press finish. Now if we come back over to here, we can go to the smelting tab and obviously there's all these other ones uh, if you want to add those. Um, I'm going to remove this output. So I'm going to say that if you, you should be able to like right click this, um, but I'll just put uh, planks in here and just say create tag. If we select this tag, we can see the name of the tag. So this will just be planks. And that's a Minecraft tag. You can also use forge tags. Um, yeah, tag Minecraft planks. Now you don't need to worry about adding items unless you're creating your own tag because what you can do is you can actually download the tag separately um, I'm not going to do that um, and then obviously I don't know if it like takes in a fuel no I don't know why that slots actually there that's a little weird um, and then you can just say it goes to cherry so let's create our cherry and we can call this uh, tutorial colon we called it um, example underscore food and obviously select the texture if you want I'm gonna do that just because uh, it's it's available and you can say it smelts to a cherry once again you can uh, you should be able to edit this and give it a count um, but it's not really letting me do that for some reason I'm pretty sure you can oh no maybe you can't maybe you can't I don't think you can smelt and get multiple results which is a little bit of a shame but that's where you would need your own furnace um, and then there's a few options that it gives you here so it gives you the experience um, so I could say um, 0.5 it gives you the um, time that it takes to smelt it I didn't know that actually exists um, so obviously by default that's 10 seconds um, I'm actually going to set that to um, 20 ticks so one second and that's pretty much the options you have and then you can just copy this go back into Eclipse paste it in and save it and if you want obviously as I said you can do this multiple times multiple different recipes different types um, all that different stuff um, that's pretty much it to be honest so we've covered how you can use a well this should be a tag for some reason it didn't export as a tag but for tags you need to specify that it's a tag instead of uh, what we have here which is an item um, so also you can do that for both I don't know why it didn't export that you might have to check uh, and it's it's minecraft planks not oak planks I, I don't know how why that messed up let me see um, yeah this is this is tag plank so I don't know why that's not working that might be a little bug um, or maybe I have to say create tag and that adds it ah yeah there you go so you have to say uh, create tag um, and that will that will work so yeah that's pretty much it obviously I'm gonna link that in the description if we now go ahead and run the game we should be able to craft 
our example items into our example block and we should be able to smelt uh, Minecraft planks into cherries. So let's go ahead and uh, test this out. Okay, so guys, as you can see, I'm now in the game. And if we go ahead into our inventory, uh, I do have to be in survival, of course, though. And I go to craft our example items. We should see that we get four of our example block and we can obviously do this in a crafting table as well um, anywhere in the crafting table it doesn't really matter so that is that recipe and if we go into a furnace plop some coal in there we should be able to smelt a plank with a very fast time and obviously since we use the tag we can smelt either of the planks so um, or any plank I suppose obviously you can see that's working with oak and if you put in birch it still works so yeah that's that's pretty simple stuff obviously we're getting the cherries and we got the experience so uh, quite a bit of experience because we set it to 0.5 so yeah, that's pretty much it for recipes. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial. If you did, please do be sure to smash your face into that like button. And subscribe as well. Um, if you really enjoyed, please do be sure to share it. And hit that bell if you want to be notified when I next upload. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Good bye. This kitchen is so hard to clean. If only there was a